What's up guys, welcome to today's episode of Pursue Righteousness. Today, we're just gonna be thinking about Luke 6, 27b, which says, do good to those who hate you. And this is honestly just something that, I mean, last time we talked about kind of pancakes and how we need to be plugged up to God and abiding in him. So that way it is through God and us that we are able to truly love others. And that goes beyond love to do good. So right now, a question would be, I suppose, what does it look like to do good? What does good mean? Let's just take a moment and we're just gonna think about this. What does it mean to do good? Right now I'm cleaning windows for those of you who are watching on YouTube and not listening to the podcast that's available anywhere you listen to podcasts. And as I'm cleaning these windows, I hope I do a good job. Honestly, I'm probably gonna have to go back over these with another rag, but right now I'm getting just kind of the bigger debris off. And the reason why I want to do that is that way I can make sure I do a good job and get rid of all of these different streaks. And I am getting some of the bigger stuff off, but like there's dust that's coming from this rag just because of how dirty it is. Overall, it's cleaning pretty well. But almost in a sense, in order for this to truly be good, I want this glass to be pure. I want to be able to see just the window, no streaks. I don't, maybe I want to see my reflection, but I don't know. You tell me what you think ladies. <laughs> Anyways, what does it mean to do good? I think that there's a certain purity to the word good that a lot of times even Hollywood today will try to twist and pervert. Like you got quote unquote superhero movies where the main superhero is a villain. What is good? These are just kind of some thought provoking questions. Another question. Who is my enemy? Or, sorry, not who is my enemy, who hates me? Do you have people that hate you, or maybe even you hate? Just think about it for a minute. We talked earlier in the series about conflict and maybe there being someone who, like Daniel, who had a lot of people who were opposed to him and what he was doing because he was following God. Could it be that we are to do good to people who despise us similarly? See, right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help you think. I'm asking leading questions. I'm, I want you to just take a moment and think about whether or not you understand what 
good means. And in Micah 6, 8, it actually talks about what is good. That one should seek justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with God. So, if that is what it means to be good, is it possible to do that almost in a sense to someone who may hate me? And kind of like we talked about in the last episode with the pancakes, yes, but it's not us doing it. It's God doing it. And, and through us. So, that comes as a result of us being plugged up, powered up by him. These are all just thoughts, but how can they be applied to your life right now? Like right now, I can do a good job on these windows by being faithful in this work that God has given me the opportunity to do. I worship him and glorify him in it through doing a good job. And in doing that, I'm doing good, not only in the work I'm doing, but in the way I'm working to worship and glorify God. So for you, what does it look like to do good to those who hate you? Just a thought. Let's pray. Dear me, Father, Lord, I thank you for my friend. Lord, I pray that they would be willing or to abide in you or to that way out of the fruit of that, or that they could do good works, even those who hate you, Lord, through worshiping and glorifying you, Lord, which is something that they are equipped to do in Christ. Lord, thank you. And it will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Adios.